okay let us install splunk on red hat linux operating system so just open google on red hat linux by clicking on activities and going to the browser from here okay and then i clicked on it and now i can click on free trial and downloads once we click on free trial and downloads we can go scroll down to enterprise get my free trial Once we are here, we can click on login. Because we downloads on Splunk, you need to have uh, registered to that Splunk, right? So I already registered, so I'm clicking on login. To enter the credentials. Once you log in, hold on, please be patient. It's only 2 GB RAM on, on my Red Hat, so it's taking time. So I'm going to click on Linux here. Once I click on Linux, I'm going to click on RPM. Download. I'm getting this one because I'm waiting. I'm using uh, trial version, or unregistered version. I'm just doing it just for demoing this in installation. So I click on this. I click on save I click on OK finally is getting completed now so right now we go to activities again click on this terminal we are going to face lots of issues and we are going to resolve one by one so now let us check it where is it so it will be in downloads right obviously so just don't change to downloads ls so initially we need to give some permissions to this file so that it can be installed right for that what we need to do is we just need to go give some permissions like chmod read and write for uh, our user folder i mean user six and uh, read only for group and then others okay and then say say is blank done right so now according to that according to that uh, installation document they say that let me go back to here and they say that oh sorry uh, 
we need to install rpm just like rpm hyphen i and then splunk right so let me go back very sorry so let us see the issues which are going to face now according to the documentation it says rp sorry rpm hyphen i and then splunk for rpm right so if you do this it says permission denied so what we're going to do now probably we may think okay because of the sudo let us let us dive it sudo now sudo and then same thing rpm hyphen i and then splunk but now it says because i have not added my name in the sudo file so it won't even allow me to do that so let us add this to my sudo file let's see f my password and enter first to see this see my name is not in a sudo file do you know where the sudo file is residing in it will be in the etc file right? etc directory right so for us first of all let's go there cd dot dot cd slash etc okay you can check here ls you can check ls also you can check ls minus al also so here you can see this scroll a little bit up so you sudo file here right so but i just want to use it my using my root privileges to update this one so and enter the password again and now i'm going to update this sudo file okay how i'm going to update i say vi sudo right i'm going to go down we need to scroll down here scroll until we see a line we need to add there scroll yeah here we need to add so we need to say escape and then i so now we can install right so enter the username suman my username which i enter right so same exact as it is for root all is equal to all and again all okay now we're going to save it escape colon wq right sometimes it might happen that it will say is read only had to do something else nothing here nothing much again same thing escape colon wq 